Hi guys. Hi right, guys. What's up, YouTube family? Ian and just checking back in. Hope you guys are doing really well. Hope you guys are one step closer to your dreams and goals. Hope you guys are falling in love. Hope you guys are smiling. So guys, today's video really quickly. We were seeing that scumbag Ali Dawa talk to Avery. So you know, if some of you may or may not know God, um, God Logic Apologetics, um, whose name is Avery, he basically, you know, is a very respectful, great person. He does a lot for the Christian community. Shout out to him. Um, you know, he just went there humbly to just have a conversation and ask one question to Ali Dua. And guys, really quickly, let's not forget to click on the link below. That is Christian Prince's channel. Please support him and take all the knowledge he has to give. He did a video just yesterday about how Jesus was never a Muslim. Please absorb and take that knowledge in and share his content. And please keep learning from him. Back to it, guys. This topic that I like to go over, obviously, with more knowledgeable people, um, is the subject of you know, Jesus being a Muslim, obviously as a Christian, like, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't think that that was like, that's far from us. And so when we get in these conversations and Muslims like, oh yeah, you know, Jesus was a Muslim and stuff like that. So I was hoping maybe you guys can touch on this and we could have a, a good back and yeah. forth on this. But okay. Is, I don't know about he a Christian, by the way. He's a Christian. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, about the is is yeah. Jesus Christian? There's a question. No, nah, he's not the a Christian. Christian. So Jesus is not Christian. Yeah. No. Nah. So then what he is? He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a Jew. He's an Israelite. Israelite. As you can see, Avery just asked a simple question, right? He just asked these three sons of Muta if G uh, Jesus was a Muslim based off of the Bible and the Quran contradicting itself. Is Jesus really a Muslim? And, you know, Avery basically finished these guys and in, in, the, in the whole conversation, we were watching this live. And guys, we forgot to mention this. This is a clip conversation, so we're showing pieces of the whole conversation. It was They were probably talking for an hour. Um, we're not showing the whole hour video. We're just showing you snippets of key moments. But nonetheless, Avery destroyed them. In a sense, but maybe in some spiritual or metaphorical sense that God has this father-son relationship with his prophets or Israel or believers, stuff like that, right? But this is something that, as you, as you said, Allah is your rub, your Lord, not your up, right? And he makes it so clear that in no way, shape, or form is he a father in any sense, whether it's literal, figurative, spiritual, it doesn't matter. He says he's only your Lord, he's only your master, and you're only, you yeah. know, servants or slaves, right? So yeah. it, so regardless of how, like, Jesus meant it, let's say, like, let's grant that he's meaning it in a metaphorical sense, it still goes against Islam, doesn't it? If he's saying he's the son of God and God is his father, even yeah, in a metaphor. Yeah. I think I think there's a fundamental issue with the understanding here, which is okay. when we discuss with Christians like you, um, we use your own source to explain to you how the divinity of Jesus Christ is problematic from your own sources, right? Mm. That doesn't mean that we believe word for word yeah. in the current modern day Bible. We don't. So for example, okay. simply speaking, uh, from our belief, we would not believe that Allah uh, spoke with his prophets in that way, that I'm your father. We don't believe that that happened in the first place. However, we use these verses to show you that, no, look, you're saying that Christ is divine, so why is he praying? Why is he doing this in your book, in your references? Mm -hmm. So that that's the point here. That's the point. That's the reason why we refer to that. Because obviously, as we know, I'm sure you're aware of this because you're involved in polemics. The Bible has its own issues, and we agree with the we 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 know that these issues exist. You know, Bruce Metzger, who was one of the you know scholars in charge of the compilation of one of the uh, Greek New Testaments, was mentioning how you know no two are alike. You know, in terms of the manuscript traditions, etc. You have all of these. You have the earliest. We have the earliest New Testament going back to the fourth century, which is hundreds of years after Jesus Christ. So we have uncontrolled transmission of the Bible. We have all of these issues with the Bible. We have early church fathers differing over what the canon is, what is actually classed as scripture. So these are all issues that the Christians have to solve. For us, these are not issues. For us, our primary sources in Islam are not the Bible or the Injil. Our primary source for our referencing is the Quran, the Sunnah, the Ahadith of the Prophet Muhammad so simply speaking, if Allah says something to us in the Quran, 
that, for example, Jesus said X, Y, and Z, and then a Christian comes to us like you are right now and says, well, Jesus didn't say that in the Bible. Well, we would say, we don't need Jesus to say that in the Bible because we have our primary sources telling that, and your Bible has problems as a source, as a primary source. It's actually affirmed to the same concept that we are using we are, we are using as, as a primary source. Even though, regardless, if you found the Bible, even if we never read the Bible, still for us, the primary source is the Quran, which is because the, the, the original Bible, the original gospel is already lost. There is nothing out of it. It's not there. So for us, the primary source is the Quran. And the Quran affirmed to us, Jesus is a Muslim, affirmed to us he's a prophet sent by God, affirmed to us all of the information we know about him. That's all. And that's this our this is our primary source. So when we say we're Muslim, we're yeah. using our own primary source to, 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 to say this. Secondly, what is what the information that is written in your scripture, it affirms what we have. Do you understand these things? Yeah, can uh, I can uh, I just before just, uh, just so for the people that are watching, uh, um, Yahweh is also the you have the messenger, the Malak, Yahweh, who's the messenger of yeah. Yahweh, who is also Yahweh and divine, yet he's distinct from the Father. And then Moses taught, yeah, that's, that's Exodus angel. 3, by the way. That's Exodus 3. Then Moses so, taught so, so, in Genesis 1, okay. you have the Spirit of God. So you have this, you have Okay, one the second. Father, which, one, yeah, which Jews believe, which Jews believe that these are different essences of God? Yeah. Which, uh, Jew, not, which rabbi, which yeah. rabbi, quote me one rabbi that mm. believes, that Moses believed that this one God that they believe in with us, by the way, the Jews and the Muslims, we have very, very, very similar. There's some things that they have about God slept and rested. But what I'm saying is, Christians are the only ones that's odd. So can you tell me a single rabbi that said that Moses and all the other prophets before believed in different essences of God the way you guys do? Okay, so just just a quick correction. It's not different essences, it's different persons, right? Different hypostases. Okay, different persons. Yeah. What, different well, persons, okay. Yeah. Tell me a single rabbi that believed yeah. this. Single Jewish yeah. person. Yeah, I got you. So have you heard of Daniel Boyern? No. Okay. So or so you got Daniel Boyer and you got Benjamin yeah. Summer. These are Jewish scholars. Yeah. And not, and and, these are, okay, uh, Jewish scholars who are Jewish yeah. that yeah, believe what? That that believe that the Trinity is actually in line with Judaism. It's a it's a Jewish belief. Let me, let, me, let me just get this right. So these one second. There are Jewish people. It's like yeah. me saying there are Muslims who believe that Trinity is in line with Islam. I'm a disbeliever. No, that's not. So How can I be a Muslim? How can yeah. I be a Muslim and say the Trinity is in line with Islam? Plus, plus, you're, a Muslim, your Muslim is not your bloodline. You're, you're a Jew by your blood. Oh, no, one Jew. second. You're saying, okay, you're saying they're ethnically Jew. Yes. Oh, I'm talking about religiously Jew. I'm talking, not, I'm saying not rabbi. Jewish. I'm saying rabbi. No, no, I'm saying rabbi. Yeah. No, they don't they need to be Christian. They believe in Jew. They, no, Ali, they no, no, believe no. In no, 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 one second. I'm saying a Jew who follows Judaism and the Mosaic yeah. law, who believes, yeah. who believes, that yeah. God has different per is different persons. Different persons, yeah. Daniel Boyer, Dude. Benjamin Summer, Alan Segal. These are not Christians. Okay, no, these are not Christians. Okay, what we're gonna do is, this is this is online. I know you're recording this. I'm gonna I'm check not. it. And if what you're saying, okay, no problem. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check this uh, information. Who's, who's, and who's if what you're saying is not true, you're being intellectually dishonest because no yeah. Jew that I've come across they outright reject that God has persons, essence. So, they, suppose, they they don't they don't even mention suppose, his name. Listen, yeah, suppose it is. Can I, can so I give you a quote from Benjamin Summer? None of this makes a difference for us in Listen, reality. Yeah. To be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Who, is, who, is, who is this person? What's his name? Uh, oh, so this one is Benjamin Summer that I'm quoting? I'm talking about? And, and what's his book? Bodies of God. Okay. What he is, what this man is. He's a biblical scholar. Yeah, he's a Jew. Okay. Okay. We're, we're checking it. Okay, so when you say different bodies, I just want to understand. So no, he, they say he has, just yeah. repeat again, is the body? Uh, One no, second, so, what is he said? The spirit? So yeah. this, his, book, his book is called Bodies of God. Um, and he talks about, he goes, you know, kind of in detail of how there, you know, it's I not know foreign to Jewish belief that there is, you know, you know mo a multiplicity yeah, within the okay, unity of, of Yahweh's essence. So, so he gives, so he... He's an, he's an academic. Okay, but what I'm saying he's is, so he, gives, rabbi, by the way. so he gives divinity to these One three essences. He's not a rabbi. And, he, he's not a rabbi. He, he, he's, he's a professor. A, if he's a Jew, he's, he's a, Jewish he's a professor. professor. You understand? Okay, I'm look, there are I, Jews professors who are atheists. Yes. It doesn't but matter. He's, not atheist. he, he's in Judaism. I know, I know, but I'm saying there are Jewish rabbi who are Jewish yeah. uh, people who are atheists. It doesn't matter. I'm, we, exactly. we ask you, he yeah. asks you a specific thing. A is rabbi. there a Jew rabbi? Who said this? Who That's his this. question. Yeah, see, I, I Not think a professor. 
Yeah. There are Jewish professors who I know yeah. they are they are atheists. They're, they're, no, they're, they're the, Jews, the reason the reason I asked that no, no, the reason I asked that is because I know the rabbis go to his seminary, guys. Like they no, learn no, from him. It doesn't on. matter. These guys always do this, guys, and they have no shame. The guy literally. Avery literally just asked a simple question, never attacked the Quran, never even brought up the Bible specifically. And what did they do, guys? They literally started attacking Christianity. They started attacking the Bible. The big dude over here, he literally, the sheikh with the um, Saudi Arabian outfit, he literally is here talking about, oh, you don't have the real Bible, the manuscripts are wrong, uh, church fathers are disagreeing. Uh, we don't even know who uh, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John were. And um, at the end of the day, we can't trust the Bible. And how um, the Quran is the source that they use because the Injil is lost. So the Bible is not to be trusted. So the Quran is the source they use. Now, guys, we've done this multiple times. I can't believe they think they, they can just... Um, throw subliminals and act like they're respectful people. Notice how they say that Avery is respectful, but at the end of the day, they can throw subliminals and attack Jesus and attack Christianity and try to disrespect the Bible. You know, their their arguments is so insane. Now, I, and God bless Avery. Like, he literally held his composure. Was uh, He showed humility. Um, he was such a brave person. He never even once attacked, fired off, or got angry. He held composure well because he didn't go there for that. So commend him for that but at the end of the day guys we already we did this in multiple videos before these guys literally sound so silly how can they go attack the bible and talk about manuscripts when all of the manuscripts contradict the quran we already spoke about this the birmingham manuscript the sana manuscript the topaki manuscript so on and so forth guys we're even going to show you a manuscript here this this these three sons of Muta literally say, oh, there's insertions and this and that in the Bible. When we have the manuscripts to show that it was on a palimpsest, which is where they scratched out the writing and rewrote on previous writing, their whole Quran is literally, literally destroyed by historical evidence. He's talking about not the, uh, the, the oldest Bible that we have as a historical document is a couple centuries later. Are they really the one to talk? The things that we know about Muhammad, if Muhammad ever even existed, that bastard who got killed by poison, thank God, that rapist, murderer, good for nothing, scumbag, what we know about him comes 200 years later after his death. What are they talking about? Contemporary documents that they have a primary source. You don't have no primary source. What do we know about the Hadiths? The Hadiths come 240 years later, guys. The Tafsirs come 300 years later, guys. What are these guys talking about are they stupid you see that's the thing they can only attack christianity because islam is so weak and so idiotic and stupid that it has so much holes they know it how can they go attack something knowing that their whole narrative is made up and false they're saying that oh we have everything by old transmission the hafs quran which is the present day quran we all know is a 1924 edition from egypt and cairo guys the hafs quran it was the most popular Quran by the Ottoman Empire. So Egypt had 30 Qurans. And in 1924, they threw the 30 Qurans in the, the river because there was too many uh, uh, differences and, uh, of nouns and adjectives. And it was confusing all the high school students. So they chose the Hafs because it was the most popular one. And the Hafs didn't even, uh, uh, wasn't even close by to Mecca to even be a trustable source. And at the end of the day, in 1980s, the Saudi Arabians, when they took over, they they they. they, they they followed the Egyptians and they took the Hafs Quran and made it the popular version where 90, 95% of Muslims in the world use the Hafs Quran just because of that simple fact. And we know all the Muslims are using Warsh and the Warsh Quran literally contradicts uh, the Hafs Quran. Ask them where is the original Hafs Quran. doesn't have to be the, the first one that was written. Ask them where is the copy of the copy of the copy of the copy. Ask them. Ask them where is it. Don't Every copy that they have is literally a printed edition. Ask them where's the, 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 the true, real Hafs Quran. Ask them. They don't have it. I've, I've looked at the manuscripts. I've looked at the oldest documents. There's not one Hafs Quran, guys. There's not one. So everything that we know, the whole fabrication and the idea that they remembered everything by oral transmission, 
guys. We already talked about this. This is nothing but a fairy tale. Half of these people, or probably 70% of these people, can't even read or write. We all knew this. It was all made up. It was lies. The whole Quran. God, Jesus Christ. But they, I, I can't believe this. Now let's not forget, guys, that between the years 632 and 705, there is not one single historical Quranic document that has 114 surahs, 6,236 verses. It's all a fairy tale. Ask any Muslim. Where is the contemporary or the copy of the copy of the copy of Uthman's Qurans between that time frame? Even 750 and onward, but let's just talk about that. Where, where, where is it? They have 10 Qirats, which is different recitations. So Muhammad said that the, there's different dialects, so he allowed 7 different dialects. And now they have 10 different Qirats. So basically, guys, if they're reciting in 10 different ways, and the words are changed here and there. What are they talking about? What are they talking about? None of it makes sense. Where, where, where is the original quote unquote copy of the Qirats to? You're missing the Quran between the seventh century. You're missing Qirats. You're missing. Uh, you're you're missing proper manuscripts to add up to everything. You don't have any type of contemporary sources. You come six hundred years after Jesus Christ talking about how the Injil is lost. And how what, what the Bible said is X Y Z X Y Z, and how uh, it's corrupted. Psh, bro, give me a break. Give me a break. Everything that they're telling you, they do not have any historical evidence to prove or back it up. It is all a lie. Half of these people were illiterate and retarded, guys. They don't know anything. Muhammad was retarded. They're all just telling us lies. Whatever caliphate it was that inserted these lies for political gain. Everything was politics. Islam is a political game. It is all lies. Ask them to show you the proof. Ask them to show you the proof. Ask them to show you the 10 qirats that are that they have today that they wrote and copied. What is the oldest document that they have that proves to us that it was from the time of Muhammad? Ask them. Ask them. We're waiting for the proof. Don't ever come at the Bible. And then the ultimate question, which I forgot to say to ask them. Ask them which of the 10 different Qirats or other Qurans that they have. Ask them which one is the actual preserved copy in the Islamic heaven. Ask them which one is the specific word of Allah. They're going to tell you they're all the words of Allah. So they're playing, they're playing scramble. Words here, words there. Allah's half retarded. So ask them, ask them which one was the specific book that was that had came down. Because if there's seven different dialects, and for some reason there's ten different kirats, but if there's seven different dialects, which one was it? Which one is the eternal word? They don't know, guys. They are all retarded. And guys, you can see how shameful at the end, when Avery thanks them for coming on and stuff like that, how, you know, he's respectful and he's leaving and doing his thing. He didn't even record this. And at the end of the day, the, the, the big dude goes, oh yeah, do us a favor, uh, shout us out for a donation to pray. And Avery's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to shout out for people who want to preach the gospel or, or pray for Jesus. And they're like, oh yeah, yeah no, no, no. But the, the Injil, yeah, yeah, not the Bible. They just do not stop disrespecting Bible, the Bible and Christianity. And at the end of the day, that shows that you're not a knowledgeable and weak person that Muslims cannot defend the Quran. Historically, they are finished. And they brought up um, that uh, one scholar that wrote something against the Bible uh, who was debunked many times. But at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, I have books here from countless scholars that have destroyed the Quranic narrative. I have countless books, which we will share with you guys down the line. And these scholars, when you bring it up to them, they are telling you, we can't trust those scholars or they ignore it. But they're quick to attack it and say these things about Christianity. Not one manuscript prove that the Quran you have today match. Not one. Uh, we, we don't even have the copies of the original hadiths. We don't even have the copy of the original uh, bi biography. The original biography that was written 200 years later. There was the original guy that wrote the first biography, Ibn Hishak. And... What happened to that? We don't even have that. For some reason, that one got burnt. 
And then the new one, that guy that edited it and rewrote it and copied it, Ibn Hisham, he omitted things which we, 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 we showed in the previous video. So everything is a lie. What are they talking about? Oh, this we have a secondary source. This is so stupid. Oh, because the Quran says that the Injil is lost and because Muhammad, who's stupid and retarded and got choked out by a demon spirit, uh, said that you cannot trust, quote unquote, the Bible. So because he said that our book is wrong, that means his book is right. Like, well, what what type of logic? What what type of logic is that? You know, the, the, guys, this is ridiculous. Um, psh, Ali Dawa is such a fool, and you can see, guys, how much money they're making day in and day out. All the Muslims, if you're watching this, I'm telling you, Ali Dawa and his crew. It's midnight. They're eating and enjoying themselves. As they're getting donations from you, hundred hundred and seventy thousand plus dollars, and this was a restart. He already raised another two hundred thousand a couple months ago. I'm not watching his money. I don't care. But when we spoke to him on a live at the time, that's how we knew the number. But nonetheless, I keep telling you, this guy doesn't sleep night and day. You guys are filling his pocket to pay the entrance fee to get into Jannah. They're lying to you. Islam is big money. Who spends ten hours a day sitting at a computer trying to raise donations? They have not saved one animal or one homeless person. Or one veteran that has been protecting them. But they're over there selling mats they buy from Timu. I don't care about this guy. But I'm only commenting and making these things because he's such a shameful son of Muta. You can teach people to pray for free. You don't go into a mosque or a masjid and ask uh, for how much does the ticket cost to come in to pray. What are you talking about? Who's this guy fooling? He's fooling all of you. But anyways. And guys, they literally go... Ali Dawa goes, oh, can you please prove to me one Jewish rabbi that believes in the Trinity? And then Avery brings three scholars. And when Avery brings three scholars, they're all shook. And then after they cross references and check it and realize Avery just destroyed them and just humiliated them, you hear Musa uttering, oh, that, that, that doesn't make a difference though. Uh, it doesn't matter. Why did you ask the question then? Why did you ask it? You asked it because you're a disgraceful son of Muta and you have no honor. So once somebody destroys you intellectually, you are going to go say it doesn't matter. Why'd you ask? Oh God, guys, I'm telling you that these guys are horrible people. They worship Satan. We understand that they're over there talking about all these different things. And at the end of the day, we did the last video. We just, we realize that Allah has two right hands, a leg, a head. God knows what type of demon and creature he is. But at the end of the day, man, sheesh. Uh, he had a lot of patience, but I could tell, he, oh, God, he wanted to fire back. They, they lucky, though. They're lucky, though, that he didn't open his mouth because I know, I know Avery would have finished him. Praise God. Praise Jesus. Thank you, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John for being able to spread the word and spread the gospels. Thank you, Paul, for all that you've done to spread the word of God. Oh, man, they would never be able to taint it with their lies and all the historical lies that they presented and the inaccuracies. They didn't study this stuff. They just Google it and think that they know stuff. But at the end of the way, end of the day, they can never destroy the word of God. Thank you. Bless Jesus. The last guys. It was just a sh quick short video of us ranting and all the nonsense that we saw. Um, have a good one, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.